What it is, what's up you guys? So it's a gloomy day out, so the lighting is probably gonna be shitty throughout this video, so I apologize, but bitch, I'm so excited because I have not done a hair video in forever and I have not done my hair in forever like girl I've just been trying to be like a natural girl you know love my natural hair a little bit more so yeah i'm really excited for this video to be trying on a new little hairstyle or whatever so today we are working with tanash hair and i've worked with them in the past i love them their hair is always amazing this is what the box looks like so i wanted to show you guys a quick little unboxing of the hair so it comes in this nice little pouchy and then this is what the box looks like and the hair fresh out of the box so there's their card here's some details and they did throw in some goodies for me so i got a comb i got an edge brush we got some clippies we got a wig cap we got a bonnet and some lashes so this is the hair we're working with look how long guys she's long okay i have worked with dark hair in the past and an issue i always have is like bleaching the roots or like the knots I meant. I'm gonna show you guys like the process of me bleaching the roots. So this is how the knots looked before and honestly they weren't that bad. I didn't even have to bleach them honestly but I wanted the lace to be flawless. Like I wanted them to be invisible, okay? So I saw this process on TikTok. So pretty much they sprayed the hair, pushed it back with the comb and now we're going to mix the bleach. So on TikTok I saw that you could use 20 or 30 developers. So I was like, okay, the 20 will be fine. Girl, the 20 was not fine. But anyway, you want to mix it so it's a pretty thick consistency. So that's why I'm like adding little by little. And I also saw that like if you mix blue, that helps it to not get like that brassy tone, you know. But for some reason, it was coming out green. So I was like, what the heck? So I decided to throw in some purple to kind of give it more of a cool tone. Because like, why is it coming out green? Okay, now it was kind of blue. So it looks a lot better now. But um, yeah, so then we're going to start applying it to the lace. And I was kind of struggling a little bit. This is my first time doing this, y'all. So I just really didn't know what I was doing. So I was just trying to find the best way to get it on there. So this is what it looks like once it's on. And I heard that you're supposed to put like a foil and then like flip it over upside down so it doesn't like bleed into the hair. So yeah, that's what I did. And I left it on for 20 minutes. I don't know if I did it right. It didn't lighten enough. So I'm going to show you guys up close. So these are kind of the results. So it did lighten the root a little bit. The knots didn't all the way lighten. Like only a few of them lightened. And then some of them are still there. But I feel like it still doesn't look bad at all. The knots aren't like huge and noticeable. So I feel like either way we could have a cute install and just like make it look cute. So yeah, shout out to Tanesh hair for sponsoring this video and now let's get into this install okay y'all so first things first we need to detangle this hair so i'm just brushing through and then we're going to start braiding so i've just wet it a little bit to give it some texture and then part it down the middle so i'm gonna take some gel just to make sure the edges are slicked back and that i have a clean um part down the middle so yeah we're just gonna start braiding the gel also helps to have more of like a grip while i'm braiding so i can braid tighter so yeah i'm just gonna braid all the way down also inches period so yeah i'm just gonna do the same thing on both sides and obviously the braids do not have to be perfect just make sure they are tight because you don't want any hair to fall out or anything i usually put on some hair oil but i forgot this day also does anyone else's hands cramp up while they're braiding because mine does my hands were killing me at this point after that i'm going to just go over the edges once again with the got to be glued spray and i do this because um i want to make sure all the hair is out of the way and it's secure so now we're gonna just pin the braids up with some bobby pins and we just cross them in the back this is usually how you get like the flattest look i feel like and now we're gonna put the wig cap on. So I like to extend it like all the way down just so it's like really tight on. Obviously cut out some eye holes so you can see what you're doing. And then we're gonna take the got to be spray again and spray just around the hairline because that's where you want it to stick. And we're gonna blow dry it to help it dry quicker. So once it is more or less dry, you're going to start pulling it up and we're gonna cut it off. You want to cut it as close to the hairline as you can get it. So that's why you see me kind of like peeling it back a little bit just to get closer to the hairline. And then I'm just going to trim all the way around. 
can take your time with this, y'all. You don't want any of your real hair to start poking out. So once that is done, we're gonna take our Ghost Bond glue and I just like dot it along the edges all the way around and up to the sideburns and then I take my comb and kind of just like press that into the wig cap and this kind of makes it like really like flat really smooth along the edges make sure it's not gonna lift so now we're gonna cut our ears out so yeah while the glue dries we're just gonna tie the wig cap in the back and this kind of holds the braids in if they do like tend to fall out or anything so yeah now I'm gonna try the wig on just to see how it's gonna fit around the edges around you know the hairline around the ears and everything like you want to see how it's gonna fit before you just like jumped laying it down so yeah we're gonna do the got to be glue all over I started actually on one side and then I did the other side because this wig didn't perfectly align with my hairline I feel like my hairline is kind of weird sometimes but yeah the wig did not align so I did it in pieces sprayed the got to be spray and then I put the wig band on so you want to leave the wig band on for at least 10 minutes that's what I've heard because you want that that you know bond to be secure girl you don't want your wig to lift you don't want that lace to lift so now we're working on the part so you want to get a straight part of course so while the lace is melting we're gonna start cutting the hair because i feel like it needs just like a little bit more shape to it so i'm gonna take the scissors and just go in a downward motion and just cut these little layers into it just to give it more dimension like look at the before and after y'all like you see how the side i cut is all full and voluminous and then the other side is just all flat and weird <laughs> so yeah i feel like this process definitely helps the overall look of it so now we're gonna work on the part actually like for real this time so i'm going to take my hot comb and just start to try to lay it down as flat as we can get it and now we're gonna work on the waves so i like to wet it just to get the curl pattern back in and then i'm gonna take some mousse and just lay it down to make sure it's not gonna get frizzy throughout the day and to hold the curls in throughout the day so yeah i'm just using like a tresemme mousse whatever like i bought at target and yeah so we're gonna do that all around the hair and then after that's done we're going to take the wig band off finally the moment of truth and womp that shit looked crazy i was like nah what is this so it we needed to put in some work okay so right now i'm just cutting the lace off trying to get it as close to the hairline once again as possible cutting around the ears i was really in an awkward position on the other side i was just like i don't know how to get this side but whatever we do what we can girl we gotta do our best and now i'm just plugging the hairline sorry this part is kind of like out of focus but yeah i'm just plugging the hairline to kind of make it look more natural and not so like bulky in the front so here I'm just wiping off the extra like residue from the hairspray and now we're gonna pull our baby hairs out so I usually just do two swoops I feel like my forehead is too small to be doing like a lot of baby hairs in the front so I just do two swoops on the side so I pull out a piece and start to tweeze it to kind of just like thin it out a little bit make it look a little bit more natural and less bulky so yeah I'm doing the same on the other side just pulling out a section I trim it with the eyebrow razor thingy and yeah plug it a little bit and then just lay it down with some gel i always use gel on my edges i don't know that's just what works best for me but yeah this is how it came out i did a little sideburns and everything and i love it it's super cute Okay, baby, so it's actually the next day, and I'm getting ready for class right now, but I just wanted to show you guys the hair, like, the finished product with, like, my makeup done and everything. So this is how the hair looks, and I feel like it's really cute. I love it. I did, like, cut it into, like, um, like a little bit more layers and stuff to give it, like, a little bit more shape or whatever, but, um, yeah, this is how it looks. I think it lays really nicely um i actually i'm really proud of this install um i haven't done curly hair in a while but i think it came out really pretty the curls hold really well um they're not like frizzy or anything so this is how it looks from the back let me try to give you guys a good view of it so yeah it's 
26 inches i did trim it down a little bit and i love it i think it's super cute so this is how it looks up close oh don't mind my bed y'all i did not make my bed today i'm running late for school so this is how it looks i think it's so pretty i love having curly hair i always feel like a bad bitch with my curly hair this is my outfit just wearing this nude dress with my fuzzy leg warmers because it's still a little bit chilly out so yeah guys i'm running so late for class right now just want to say shout out to tanash hair for sponsoring this video all links and details will be down in the description y'all so make sure to go check them out so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl and i'll catch y'all in the next one